While Windows 11 does come packed with a ton of features and functions, there are some that can make your experience using it less than desirable. So coming up, I'll share with you the features and settings you should disable that will make your experience using Windows 11 better overall. Let's get into it. One thing that irritates the hell out of people is ads in Windows, either promoting their stuff or third-party apps, especially when they're trying to get work done. First, we'll get rid of those pesky ads in File Explorer by clicking the three-dot menu icon and selecting Options. Select the View tab here at the top. Scroll down to Show Sync Provider Notifications and uncheck the box next to it. You don't need to click on Apply if you're not making any other changes. Selecting OK will close this window out and automatically save those changes. Every now and then, Microsoft will offer tips and suggestions, which if they were fully honest, are promotional ads for Microsoft products. These are completely useless. To get rid of these so-called tips and suggestions, using the Settings app, select System in the sidebar on the left, then select Notifications here on the right. This one is buried deep, so scroll all the way down. Click Additional Settings, and uncheck the box next to Get Tips and Suggestions when using Windows. I've seen articles doing a registry edit to do this, which is not necessary. Because this is buried so deep, they must not know about this. In addition, uncheck the other boxes as well. These are just other vectors to promote Microsoft's products and services especially Microsoft 365 and OneDrive. Now to disable those ads that may appear on your lock screen. We'll be staying here in the Settings app. Here on the left, select Personalization. Then here on the right, scroll down and select Lock Screen. Click the drop-down for Lock Screen Status. Selecting most of these here have the possibility of showing ads. If you don't want to see ads on the lock screen, simply click None. Microsoft loves to collect the personal data of its users, stating it will improve the Windows experience. We all know that's a load of crap. They collect browser history, keystrokes, and other sensitive information. To put a stop to that in Settings, select Privacy and Security in the left pane. Then in Windows Permissions, select General. Starting here at the top with Let Apps Show Me, personalize ads by using my advertising ID. If turned on, click the toggles to turn all of these off. Let's go back and go into Diagnostics and Feedback. For Send Optional Diagnostic Data, click the toggle to turn it off. The much hated Start menu in Windows is annoying. It'll offer useless tips, app recommendations, and now we'll show account-related notifications. So to disable these in settings, in the left pane, click Personalization. Then here on the right, scroll down and select Start. Turn off, show recommendations for tips, shortcuts, new apps, and more. And below that, disable, show account-related notifications. Some people find it creepy and unnecessary that Windows and the apps they use can have access to their location. If this describes you, in Settings, let's go back to Privacy and Security. Then here on the right, scroll down, and in App Permissions, select Location. If you turn off Location Services, some features like Find My Device will not work as intended, so I recommend leaving it turned on along with Let Apps Access Your Location. Then you choose which apps get access to your location by clicking on the toggles to turn them on or off. I haven't used the Speed Test app in a few years, so I should turn this one off too, along with the Arc Browser, since it's in a state of flux right now. If you're someone that does not like the widgets panel in the taskbar to quickly get news, weather, and other stuff, you can disable that right now in the Settings app. So in Settings, go to Personalization, scroll down and select Taskbar. Simply click the toggle for Widgets to turn it off. We'll stay here for the next one. 
Some people find the search box in the taskbar to be redundant and not necessary since search can also be accessed in the start menu by selecting it and start typing. To get it off your taskbar, click the drop down menu for search and select hide. And now it's gone. Notifications from the apps you have installed and Microsoft itself can feel overwhelming at times and in many cases not helpful at all. To get more control over notifications, in settings, go to system, and then notifications here on the right. If you don't ever want to see any notifications from any app, click the toggle here at the top. This will turn all of them off. On the other hand, if you want to choose who can send you notifications, leave it turned on and scroll down. Click the toggles for each sender to turn them on or off. The network discovery feature is useful at home or at work to make your computer visible on the network so it can communicate with other devices. But if you're on a public Wi-Fi, this is a big time security risk making your laptop visible on that network. To disable it in settings, go to network and internet. Over here on the right, scroll all the way down and here at the bottom, click advanced network settings. Then in more settings, select Advanced Sharing Settings. First, go into Private Networks. Disable Network Discovery. Even though this is called Private Networks, devices can still be discovered on public Wi-Fi. Trust me, there are some really good hackers out there. Disabling File and Printer Sharing adds an extra layer of security. Now go into Public Networks and disable Network Discovery, along with File and Printer Sharing. While having the date and time in the system tray of the taskbar can be useful, if you're using your PC for work or school, it can also be a distraction. To remove it and stay more focused, right click on it and select Adjust Date and Time. Then for Show Time and Date in the system tray, click the toggle to turn it off. And as you can see, it's now gone. While Microsoft has access to your account details, like your name, picture, and other personal information, they also allow access to this data to other programs as well, including third-party apps. In Settings, to disable this, go to Privacy and Security, scroll down, and in App Permissions, select Account Info. This is one that there should be no need for it to be on, so click the toggle to turn it off. You ever notice when you open your task manager that there are a ton of apps running in the background that you are not using. The good news is you can disable their behavior to not run in the background when you're not using them. To do this in settings, select apps here on the left, then select at the top installed apps. They don't make this easy to do. You could search for the app here at the top or just scroll to the app you don't want running in the background when you're not using it. Once you find it, click the three-dot menu here on the right and select Advanced Options. Then in the drop-down menu for Background App Permissions, select Never. Back in the Task Manager, if you don't want certain programs running when you start your computer, here in the left pane, select Startup Apps. With less apps running when you start your PC, it will boot up faster and have other benefits. To disable any app from starting up, select it, and then here at the top, click on Disable. To save time in this video, we just released another video a couple days ago, taking a deep dive into doing this, including what to disable and what to keep enabled. The link to that is in the description. Thanks for watching. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. What features and settings do you disable in Windows 11? Let us know in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and make sure to click the bell to not miss out on our latest Windows 11 videos and other tech-related stuff here on Brett in Tech.